Hello and welcome to another tutorial in uh, XNA, how to make a game in XNA. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over a camera. So a camera will follow our player wherever we move. And also, we want to go over, if we have time, uh, different types of weapons. So we're going to make a weapons database, and uh, our program is going to read that. And then it's just if there's a different weapon uh, on the ground or something we can pick it up but we're probably not going to finish that all in this tutorial so we might start in this tutorial but first let's do the camera uh, the camera I've actually made this class in one of my different games so I'm just gonna make a new uh, class I, and uh, I don't really want to explain how it works if you want to uh, see what it does, you can just look at it afterwards. I'll uh, put a link in the description where you can download this class. So I'm getting a bunch of errors because I don't have the namespaces. I'm not using any of the XNA namespaces yet. So just put put all the using statements in there, and we have to make something called a screen dot. Oopsies. Uh, just a second. We have to make a variable called screen in our game, <clears throat> in our game uh, class, and this screen is basically just going to be a rectangle, uh, rectangle representing the size of our screen. So, let's get started. Uh, okay, so I'm going to make a public static rectangle screen. Okay, and then in your initialize initialize method you want to say screen equals new rectangle and you can pretty much actually we can almost copy it's basically just exactly like the room rectangle and we're gonna make the rec, rec, uh, room rectangle bigger uh, let's make it hmm let's make it like four times the screen width and height Okay, that sounds about right. Okay, so after you've done that, uh, go back. And there's one other thing we have to do. We have to make uh, <clears throat> this thing called event checker, but we don't really have to do that. So actually, let's let's just get rid of that right now. Uh, and we're just gonna go to our game, game class, and then create a new camera. Uh, uh, that's going to be our new class that we created camera so camera camera equals new uh, camera and then it takes no arguments and then after that you want to, we want to wait do we have to load its content no I don't think so so that's actually pretty much it uh, we do have to update it though so if I'm not mistaken, I believe we have a static version of the man. Yeah, public static man. So uh, let's go ahead and make an update event in here. So public void update. Uh, okay. And the first thing we wanted to do is just follow the player. So we just get the man cl the man class. Uh, so man dot man equal dot position equals. Actually, you know what? We need the camera's position to equal the man's position, not not the opposite. So position equals man dot man position. Okay, good. Excuse me. Okay. So uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, sorry, just a second. I'm trying to think this through. Okay, so go back to your game class and put the update, the camera update method in here, or call it the camera update method. Oops, we forgot to make it a uh, public, I think. Okay. Bang, where is it? Oh, we did make an update. We didn't make it public, so what's going on? 
Okay, actually, first let's go to our camera right here, and then we're just going to make this public static so everyone can access this camera. Uh, okay, so there we go. So public, so game1.camera. Oh, okay. Uh, let's make the position public. So public. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. <coughs> I just, I just realized what happened. We forgot to change the namespace. So you see, it says namespace, namespace, uh, zombie shooter right there. Okay, it does say that. Oh. Oh, I know, because I have two classes. There's a class within a class, so, uh, yeah. So there we go. You, you guys shouldn't have that problem, but that's what was wrong. So now everything should be working. You see all our errors just went away, just like that. I'm right there. Okay, so next thing we have to do. Uh, so now the camera is updating, and Actually, we forgot to put the camera update method. So camera dot update, and then the th to make the camera actually work, we have to put its matrix, uh, which is in the camera class, uh, in this as an argument in the sprite batch dot begin. So this camera has a matrix uh, that's called M transform transformation or matrix transformation and that basically takes its position and rotation and zoom and it it draws all the sprites according to that so it's really useful because this because if we put our camera stuff in this sprite batch dot begin in between here uh, that will that is like whatever the camera is looking at and then we can put a different sprite batch dot begin and end for like our HUD and stuff like that so it won't be affected by the camera so See, if I put a comma here, I can put the sort mode and blend state. So, sample state, dental state, rasher state, effect, matrix. Okay, so that's what we want. So, just go go ahead and fill out all these. Uh, most of them are, you can just get them by typing in the class name and then using a, like a, a static enumeration. So, uh, sprite sort mode dot... Uh, front to back, I think is actually deferred. That should be fine. Blend state dot uh, alpha blend. Make sure it's alpha blend because that means there's a transparency. Sampler state dot. Actually, let's just read the, leave the uh, rest null so so that'll make everything uh, default. Uh, okay. So basically, you just have to set. Actually, we can just set the sprite sort mode to null. I think that should be fine. And just make sure the blend state is alpha blend. I actually believe you can set that to null also, but just in case, just do that. Uh, dang. Okay, and then the matrix, the transform matrix, is going to be our camera's transform matrix. So camera dot. Uh, I think it's transform. Sorry, just a second. Yeah, this is it. Camera dot transform, and we have to put our graphics, uh, graph graphics manager, in as an argument. Okay, why is it spitting out uh, errors? Okay, just a second. Uh, okay, actually, never mind. We can't put null as a sort mode, so just for sort mode, just do sprite sort mode dot deferred. So uh, that should be good. And we're still getting an error here. Uh, what's the error? Oh, okay, that's our graphics device, not our graphics device manager. So graphics dot device graphics device. So I think that should do it. So don't put our graphics in. You have to put uh, the graphics device in. So graphics dot graphics device. That should be good. Uh, so if you actually start playing this, 
hold on a second okay yeah since this is a public class uh, we're not allowed to put this as a public static object uh, because it's it's more accessible than the actual camera class because camera the camera class is not public so we would either have to set that to public or we have to change something and the only thing we need that to be static for is to get this right here which we can easily do by making uh, a method in the game class called uh, public uh, public vector to get camera position so what this will basically do is just uh, return the camera's position so it's just return return uh, camera camera dot position so that's all we need then go back to camera and replace this with game one dot get oh we forgot to make it public static so just make that public static uh, game one dot get camera position and there you go oh right okay so we're gonna fix things in the next tutorial uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, please like and subscribe it really helps a lot and I hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you bye